everybody welcome back and in this tutorial I want to try to go through as many features as I can here we go let's say you open a brand new Gmail account and you have all these labels at the left side and you want to hide them how do you do it simply go to more go to manage labels come to manage labels and click hide to everything you wanted to hide okay and that's it you're done second question is how do we put our own customized customizable labels at the left side simple we can either go to more and manage labels or we can go to settings settings again same thing and click on labels and we're at the same menu where you can show or hide now this time we're gonna go create new label and we're gonna create personal labels client one then we're gonna go client two and then we're gonna go transaction one and we are going to create transaction two okay so here we go click on inbox and there we have it client one client two transaction one transaction two question now what if we have all these emails how do we move them from inbox to these folders well first we can do it manually by simply i'm going to move new test into client one so i click on new test i click on this folder move to and just moved it okay so when i go on client one it's here so you can go one by one and move them to your folders but then there's more options in gmail here's here's a really good one let's say you want to find all of your youtube videos all you have to do is type youtube and look all your youtube videos are here okay and then there's more options so let's say you want all of your youtube videos inside youtube folders so we, there's three, three ways how to do it one is click on more go to manage labels and create youtube folder second one is go to settings settings again and click on labels go at the bottom same screen and create labels option number three and this is the same option we're just looking how to get to manage labels is to click on youtube video manage labels and look same window so three different ways how to get here i'm gonna type youtube click on create and i'm going really fast on purpose my other videos are really slow i just want somebody who doesn't have time and wants to scan through the whole gmail here's my youtube and now i'm going to do something different i'm going to click on this folder click more filter messages like this okay you guys see that here we go has the words youtube click on next apply and I'm gonna put it all inside the YouTube also apply to 19 matching conversations and look now that I click on YouTube all of the messages are on YouTube now uh, because it's a filter every time Gmail will receive email from YouTube it's not gonna go to inbox it's gonna go to YouTube and let's say I come one week later and I have four new youtube videos well this youtube label will have four in parentheses okay does it make sense if i have client one and two you know every time a client emails comes in i don't have to manually move their email inside their folders if i want a uh, gmail to automatically move them to folders all i have to do is set up feature called filter messages like this okay option number three so let's say you are just managing any type of business look at this this is so awesome go to settings settings again and when you go in the middle of the page it says stars you can simply look drag them down so i can click on preset and they say well the most popular star is yellow okay then i click on four stars and it says here are four popular icons or I can say all stars and all of them are moving here now what I'm gonna do I am simply going to manually oh I kinda like uh, red and I like uh, let's see uh, check sign 
and I love this sign and question mark okay so this is gonna be my icons okay do I want red no I'm just gonna move this out okay change my mind yellow green question mark explanation mark okay and this is gonna be my order in fact I'm gonna move order star is gonna be the last one come down to the down on the page click on save and look I'm gonna go back to my YouTube imagine that this is transactions okay and you're a title company coordinator and those are emails from clients or transaction and you're ready to took care of this email so you just click to care green and then you go green 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 and all of a sudden you have another email and you have to follow up on it so instead of clicking green click one more time and you have read that needs your attention and then let's say this email needs needs attention so you click until you see red explanation mark and maybe instead of explanation mark you have a question so I'll click until you have a question mark okay so you can click as many times as you want to and I and I manage this simply by going to settings and stars okay these are the four labels that I choose that kind of represents the status of email very very useful okay um, next step is uh, there is this icon it's called important and what it happens is if you're gonna keep saying YouTube videos are important you can actually have a folder let me show you a folder right inside the labels called important show so you see that so now when I click on important there's zero emails but if I'm gonna click YouTube is important YouTube is important Gmail is going to learn that and every time YouTube video will come in it will automatically move to important folder does it make sense okay how to turn important off very simple settings labels important height next question what about this beautiful preview pane at the right side that's not what gmail shows you right gmail has something like this and i have vertical split okay how do you turn this on very simple settings settings labs it's right here at the top but if you don't see it you can just type preview pane and this is it got it or you can go down the list there is not that many of them and just find it and enable it yours is going to be disabled like this but you have to enable it and once you do you will have this beautiful box it will appear once it's here you'll have three choices no split vertical horizontal and i love it next step is how do you send email at later time simple oh yeah you have to download this boomerang and you download it by simply going to Look, I'm gonna go to Boomerang Gmail. Okay, this is the website right here. Boomeranggmail.com. Install it. It's simple instructions. Next, next, next. You're done, and you're gonna have this icon. And when you compose your email, and by the way, when you compose your email, a lot of people don't like the fact that uh, this screen is little. It's too small. You see this little icon right in the middle full screen you click on it and it's big okay so once you type your email and I'm gonna say this is a test see, now because you installed the boomerang option you have send later and when I click on it let's say I want to send it in one hour there you go this is my option if I want to set custom time click on this little calendar set my time set my date I just edit confirm and I am all done so email is gonna go out at certain time you wanna wish somebody happy birthday you don't want to forget to send them email this is the option for you you're typing email at 2 a.m. and you don't want somebody to receive it at 2 1 a.m. this is option for you next what if you want somebody else to manage the email well it's, it's there's two ways how to do it if you just want somebody to receive a copy of one of your emails you can let me give you an example um, let's say you have a website 
and you want your business partner to receive a copy of inquiries all the inquiries okay so every time inquiries come in you want yourself copy and you want your partner to have a copy okay so if that's your goal then all you do is once you find an inquiry let's just say your website will say new client inquiry it will actually say that so you click on one of those emails that will say new client inquiry and you click on filters and this time it will actually say new client inquiry from your website um, that's what mine does and you just say new client inquiry so every time new client inquiry will come in and you put in this words you simply have to go next and instead of putting it in certain folder you want to forward it and you want to forward it to another person now the reason why I cannot forward it right now because I don't have any forwarding addresses so I click I have to click on forward address add a forward address and I just have to copy someone someone at gmail.com but you have to obviously put your friend's address and you have to click next they will receive an email saying you would like them to receive a copy of this email once they confirm it from now on every time you're going to have a new client inquiry it's going to go to your inbox and it's going to go to their inbox so very very useful okay now here's the second question what if you want somebody to have a full access to your website well that's very easy too all you have to do is click on settings settings again go to accounts and now look it says here grant access to your account and you can simply say add another account once you click on add another account simply type person's account click next they will receive a confirmation saying you would like them to have access to your account once they confirm it they have access to your account you have access to your account okay does it make any sense now you say well i i don't have anybody to um, give the account well do you know that if you have two or three gmail accounts you can simply link them between your accounts and now when you want to switch between them you don't have to log out you don't have to log in to your another email anymore because it all takes time all you have to do is uh, click on your name and switch so another very very useful um, feature let's go ahead and look at compose view if you want the window small all you have to do is make it, it by default it's small and what's good about it all you have to do is copy and paste it from another email if that's what you want to do now if you don't like that click on this icon and look your uh, new message window is big okay what about email signature how do you add them in gmail simple just click on settings settings again and don't switch on any labels it's inside general just come down to the bottom and email signature it's right here under signature if you have icon that you want to have as part of your signature you insert icon right here insert image now your icon does have to be on the website but I kind of like that because before I remember inside the Outlook when I insert the icon as part of uh, the message some email recipients did not receive it because it wasn't on the web it was part like an image attachment but when your logo is on the web so far after research that I did it always show up so I'm not gonna spend too much time to explain it but I do like this option much better than the option to add uh, logo inside Outlook okay I really like it when the logo is actually on the web and it has its own dedicated URL going a little at the bottom vacation responder simply if you're gonna be away from your office take your time uh, create the message and you are done if you wanna compose text and you wanna change a default text you know default style something more interested definitely you can go ahead and do that change it to I'm just gonna go burgundy this is how your text is gonna look like come down save it and look now when I'm gonna compose and I'm just gonna say this is a test see it's nice and red now let's just let's say I don't like red settings settings again and change 
make it smaller, normal, font, dark, almost black. Go at the bottom, click save, compose, this, okay, here we go, this is not it, I'm sorry, this is another test. And that's it, that's how you change font and that's how you add signature. Here's another one, what if you want to add another language, what if you speak another language and you always uh, type emails, well it's simple, it's right here, input, you just click on it and there is English, English, English. How do you add more languages? Go under settings and the very first option, language. Uh, this is your language as far as all the instructions, general labeled inbox. So if you speak English, you definitely want it here, but obviously you can see uh, Gmail is in many different languages. Uh, what if you want to, what if you want to add additional languages uh, if, you, if you write to anybody? Just go to edit tools, pick a language, I'm going to add Chinese, click right and that's it, look, so now when I click OK, I switch to Chinese, I click on compose and it's not working, oh yeah it does, I love it. Alright, so what else is good here, I'm going to go back to compose, make it small, well, comfortable is simply the space between these emails. If you go cozy on compact, these emails will simply be closer to each other. A lot of people love that. I have a big screen, so I don't like that. I like it comfortable. Um, all right, and then obviously we haven't go through all of the options that are in this a huge menu but I believe I went through all the fun ones so the only other ones that I really like is themes uh, I do prefer uh, default theme but some of them are really really nice for example this tea house look on inbox and I have this beautiful uh, garden uh, you can definitely change the theme to match your personality and I think this is going to be it for now. I know there's a lot of Gmail users. If you feel like your friend can benefit uh, by this video, feel free to forward them a link. Uh, also, if you found it useful, we'll really appreciate it if you let us know by simply uh, typing a few words at comment below or clicking like. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe.